Inmate number 44977821270. Congratulations, you served 21,900 days of your 21,900 days sentence. You are now free to leave. Please gather your belongings and head for the exit. Hey, hey, you, 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 come here, come here, come here, come here. Hey, hey, let me tell you something. Potentially released inmate, please note, this facility is no longer supervised by human corrections officers. Automated security systems have been online for 3,422 days. You will be released if you pass our automated society re-entry simulation test. Attention inmate, my name is Officer Flaggle. This is a pre-recorded message. Since the prison is now operated by fucking robots, today is my last day on the job and I get to spend it recording all their bullshit messages for the new stupid automated release program. Just a heads up, if you fuck up even once, you go right back to your cell for a long time, inmate. So be fucking careful. Inmate, front and center. All right, listen, this is gonna be a very short test. It's just a couple things we gotta do. You mind your fucking manners once you get behind this door, okay? Then we're gonna be done and get you out of here, all right? All right, inmate, here's the first test. On the other side of this wall, there's gonna be a baby. Prove to us that you're not a pedophile by going for 40 seconds without touching the fucking baby. Are you ready? Here we go. Time starts now. Oh, look, the baby likes you. Isn't that cute? But if the baby touches you, you're a fucking pedophile. Do you want to be a baby raper? Don't you let that baby touch you. You better run. Run from that baby. Ten seconds in. You got 30 seconds left, inmate. Keep going. Run. Don't you touch that motherfucking baby. God damn it. Look at you, look at you, running from that baby like a little bitch. Are you scared of the baby? Is the baby gonna hurt you? No, the baby's just gonna send you back to solitary confinement for 60 fucking years. Don't touch the goddamn baby. All right, 30 seconds. You got 10 seconds left. Can you keep this up? You better keep this up. Don't you touch that fucking baby. Don't you even think about touching that goddamn baby. All right, three, two, one, done. That's it. The whole thing is over. You may move on to the next portion of this test. Congratulations, inmate, for not touching the baby. But in this next test, we need to make sure that you're not a violent criminal. So I'm gonna lower this wall, and behind it, you'll see three items. I want you to select the item that you would like to take along with you for the rest of the test. Good, you selected the least lethal item you could pick. But now that you touch it, you get to keep it as a trophy to remind you not to come back to prison. Now head on through the next door. You know, inmate, you're not going to get a whole lot of respect running around a prison with a fake dick in your hand. And to be honest with you, while we were developing this test, we didn't even have a chance to add collision detection to the fake dick, which means it just goes right through walls. Some people like to play with it, just pushing it through the wall and pulling it back out. But it's just immature. I'm sure you won't do that. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> All right, inmate, I know all them hallways seem like a giant waste of time, and to be honest with you, whoever designed this place, I think, did a very shitty job. But let's go ahead and lower this door, head on into the next test. And this test, is that, is that another fucking door? Why is there another fucking door? What is the purpose? This is a waste of time and space. Fucking open the next door, all right? So in the next test, there's... Are you fucking kidding me? Another goddamn door. Why? What the fuck is the point of three fucking doors? 
All right, we're just gonna open the next door. All right, in the next ten, you Jesus fuck! It's another goddamn fucking door. This is my fucking. I'm gonna lower this next door. But if there's another fucking door behind this one, I swear to fucking God. All right, lower the door. Thank you, fucking Jesus. Now why is there another goddamn door? I'm just kidding, this one's supposed to be here. Alright, inmate, for this next test, all you gotta do is get rid of the fake dick by disposing of it into the correct receptacle. Think about it, you don't wanna fuck this one up. Go ahead. Going to court's never easy. Judges are always scary as shit, but I think you're gonna you're gonna do fine. You look good. Just keep a smile on your face. Let's get this over with. You ready? All right, let's go. All rise. The court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Flaggle Claggle presiding. Please go stand in your square. You may be seated. To the defense, why do you believe that this criminal should be released back into society? Well, to be honest, uh, the, the inmate has, has passed the entire automated release test, so I, I figure, you know, that's that's probably good enough. Oh, fantastic. But, but did the defendant happen to touch the baby? No, no, the defendant did not touch the baby. As a matter of fact, the defendant stayed as far away from the baby as, as possible. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, so, so when the defendant had a choice of items, what item did the defendant pick well, uh, uh, well it was um uh, it, 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 it was like a dildo you know like a fake dick kind of thing oh yes of course i'm familiar with those and, and they're completely harmless by the way would you say that your defendant is ready to re-enter society oh yes yes of course i i think my defendant should definitely be allowed to just you know just go back out there and just do whatever the fuck they want you well, know well let's just do that then who you know you know what guess what court is adjourned you know you Guess what? Inmate, you're no longer an inmate. You're a free man. Just go. Go ahead and leave. Go do whatever you want. Good luck to you. Bye. Bye. Let's, let's talk to you again. Good job back there, civilian. Now, I gotta say, that was the meanest fucking judge I've ever seen. But beyond this door is the free world. What you do with it is up to you, but just don't break the fucking law. Goodbye. Civilian, thank you so much for standing on that button. I was getting sick and fucking tired of playing the same goddamn song. I'm gonna lower this door, head on through. Hello, civilian. Welcome to the Society Reentry Application Station where we. Jesus, I can't even hear myself think over all this unnecessarily wildlife. Could you all kindly just shut the fuck up? Oh, great. Now it's too fucking quiet. Let me cue up some music. Oh, God, that's fucking terrible. Let's try something else.
Alright, that'll, that'll do. Alright, now where was I? Oh, oh yeah, welcome to the Society Reentry Application Station where we prepare you for civilization. You've been locked up for a long time and the world has changed, inmate. I, I, I mean, civilian. Let, let's, let's just head inside. Listen, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. There's no such thing as a society re-entry application station. I just made that shit up because you went way too far down the road. The game was over the second you got out of prison. Just you just stop playing whenever you're ready, okay? Just just quit. Just fucking turn it off! Jesus, the game is over. I, how the fuck do I run the credits and say the end? It's just, it's done. We were so far off script, the experiment is over. Yeah, there's nothing left to fucking see, so just quit, alright players? Just exit the fucking game. Okay, look, I know it's not a secret, I, I'm actually the developer of this game, and I'm asking you, player, I'm, I'm begging you to please quit playing this fucking game so I can quit having to fucking make the goddamn thing. Otherwise, I'm gonna get real shitty with my game design like this next door instead of just, like, smoothly moving out of the way. Just fucking poof, gone. Just like that. What do you think now, huh? What do you think? Holy shit, you scared the fuck out of me. Oh my god, why are you still here? The game is fucking over. God damn it. Whew, that fucked me up. Okay, okay. Alright, you know, I just, I'm not gonna play by the rules anymore. Now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fly away. Look at me go. I'm just floating away. Just floating. Just, I can't fucking, I can't see shit up here. I'm a little scared of hides. Why is this game so fucking dark? I can't see a goddamn thing. What the fuck? You know, I told you to quit playing the goddamn game. It was over a long time ago, but your persistent ass just had to keep on going. So now you're stuck in a room with a horny fucking robot. Congratulations. Is this, is this what you expected? Is this how you wanted this, this to play out? You know, you're never getting out of this fucking room, right? Which is bullshit, because... You know, just, just fucking leave. Just leave the game. Just quit it, okay? This has gone on fucking long enough. Unless you like the tranny fucking robot thingy, you can just stay with it. And have a, a wonderful fucking future, okay? But this is getting stupid. Fucking, I'm over it, okay? Stop. End the fucking game already. Jesus.